Hey everybody, Casey Transformed here again, and happy Friday. Um, today I thought I'd have something special. This is a set from a few years ago. It's a two-pack of the Marvel Crossover series with Spider-Man and Iron Man. As you can see, we have a helicopter and a jet. These are both about Voyager size. If I were to say put cl the classics or Generation Stunnercracker here, you can see they're both much larger than him. Especially Iron Man, he's just freaking wide. Uh, let's get him out there. We're gonna start with the helicopter, and you can see it's a very Spider-Man helicopter. He's got this little chibi Spider-Man logo. Really cute on there. It's got the blue, the red, you got the black, a little bit of silver for the mechanical kind of detail. Looks all really good. Not really any robot kibble exposed. And from the back you can see the feet, but that's basically it. And you can probably make out the chest there, but it's really good for for like a you know third party kind of transformer -y kind of thing. Um it looks really good. It's got like you know, it's got a lot of detail, especially with the Spider-Man etch the spider web etching all the way through it. All the way on the side. You don't have it on top, but all over the sides. On the top of the little, um, I'm not sure what you call these. Because those are things that like if the helicopter to go in the water, it can float on the water maybe, or it's just jets. Thrusters, whatever you want to call these. But yeah, it's got detail all over, got little details in there. The cockpit, or I'm going to call it the cockpit. Looks really good, looks like a real helicopter. Looks like kind of like a futuristic helicopter. The blades, of course, can spin. Detail all along the blades. It just looks really nice. Um, I do have a couple of complaints. For one, this piece that this is attached to falls in way too easily. I mean, you can see it's... I can pull it out, and it'll usually stay out, but sometimes it'll slip in. Um, the cop hits a bit loose. I mean, there's two pegs on the top here to peg it in. It just usually stays, but it sometimes comes undone. And I think that's actually about it. Uh, oh yeah, these do not like to stay. I mean, they won't twist around, but they'll usually f flip up and down really easily. Even though they're supposed to kind of, kind of have this ridge kind of go in and stay, but I know kind of like see now it's kind of locked in, but it doesn't always work. Oh, there now I seem to got locked in, and of course the legs are exposed there. But that's really it. It's a really nice little helicopter. Uh, as you can see, it even rolls. Looks really nice. Oh yeah, he's got like these little lights on the end, so a lot of good detail. I really like this figure. This is the one I have the problem with. Now, from my remember, this fig this set was twenty dollars to get her, but that was also on clearance. I think it was originally thirty dollars, but three dollars for two Voyagers isn't that bad. Except this is a really crappy Voyager. Well, as you can see, he is his width is what he's wider than the, this, the helicopter is long. I mean, he is really wide little ship. I mean. Once again, here's Thundercracker. He could literally land on his wings. And my other problem is... Yeah, the robot mode is basically right there. If I were to move this, look, the head's right there. Literally, you're just unfolding the legs, pushing out the hands, and the rest of it's just moving vehicle pieces out of the way. He, he really is a shell former. And not in a fun way. It's not even a shell former, it's just move a couple of parts to un to show off the robot mode. It's more like you're unwrapping him. And it sounds cool, but it's really not. For another thing, these pieces I keep here to cover up the arms do not stay in well. And then there's these wings that just flop all over the place. I mean, these are really f just, uh... I don't know why the wings are so big either. There's really no reason. They're not part of the transformation. There's one thing in here is a missile launcher, and it's not even that big of a missile launcher. It's not like there's a bunch of them. It's just one little one there. I could just put here and then have the wing stop at the end of it or something. There's really no reason for the wings to be this big. Another thing is they really kind of waste some of the detail. I mean, this piece moves because when you move like this, now the crotch is in place for the robot mode. But as you can see, the silver detail in there. So when you have to push down for the jet mode, you don't see it. And when he's in robot mode, it's the these silver pieces are the bottom of his feet. So they put all this nice silver paint here, but nobody's ever going to see it. It has the same problem here, where you un can actually unlatch this and find the missile launcher, of course, which is removable for whatever reason. Probably not actually meant to be removable, but you can kind of take it off and put it on the outside if you want. 
but you can see it has all this nice silver. I'm not going to complain about paint and detail. I'm just complaining about paint and details in places where you're barely ever going to see it. And this all looks really nice, and you're most of the time not going to see it. Unless you want to give them like an X-Wing like, kind of fighter look, you know. And then a missile launcher and pegs, of course. As you can see, everything's just flopping all over this figure, and you can kind of get an X-Wing thing going, but it doesn't work perfectly. I wouldn't recommend it. Now, another thing these two can do is combine both a vehicle combination and a robot combination. Kind of like animated safeguard, but not nearly as good. Uh, are you ready to see this mess? Are you sure? Alright. This is kind of where you need to pop this down. Then you can kind of have these just kind of come forward. Unpeg the cockpit. And that's basically it. This one, we're in that little movement at the back I was talking about where you actually pop this up. Yeah, because that, that way you have enough room to where you see these pegs here. These three little prong things are going to peg into this slot here. Yeah, it's really not easy to do. I really can't show it on camera too well, but you just kind of... Uh, it's the best you're going to get it. Yeah, it doesn't... You have a little blade sticking out. Then you take this and actually fold it over the cup, which will hold it in place better. And then I think you're actually supposed to do the X-Wing thing. I think you're supposed to have something that looks like this. I may not have perfectly right, but I don't think... Even if I got it a little bit better, it still would look like a huge mess. It kind of... You took two flying vehicles and combined them to where neither one of them can really fly anymore, because his blades are crushed under the jet. And jet have this... It looks like a tank, like a really dumb tank. I mean, I've never seen a tank that I really hated, and this... This looks dumb. I don't care for this. This is where the rolling is useful, of course, but... Why? Uh, just quit it. Get off the good figure. I really do not like this Iron Man figure. And you'll see why in a moment. Oh, and he hits the lamp. There. Come on. Don't know why I'm really fixing it. I'm going to do it all for transformation anyway. And look, look at this. Cockpit fell apart. Poor Iron Man. Alright, now we go into robot mode, and, well, Spider-Man does far better in his part. Let's cover him first, and I'm just going to fall over. Don't really care anymore. As you can see, really nice looking. You can see, actually see the little helicopter lights kind of in his head. You can see all the circuitry detail in his neck. Uh, looks really good, actually. A little silver paint there. He actually uses his silver paint very well. As you can see, it still uses... Most of the colors from his vehicle mode are used for his robot mode as well, so nothing really goes to waste on him. It's also a neat little trick where you can actually expand his chest a little if you want him more bulked out. I kind of want to repaint this and give him a new head sculpt and call him Venom, because this would really work well for Venom. It works pretty well for Spider-Man, too. It's not the proportion Spider-Man has, but it works as a mech of Spider-Man, if that makes any sense. That's kind of how I always saw these figures. I never saw them as the characters themselves. I saw them as mechs the characters could use. Tony Stark looked crazy and made some mechs. And he looks really good. I mean, he's got a nicely molded little fist here. His feet look pretty good. So he's got more of that little Spider-Man web detail. All throughout the chest he has it. 
And there's bits of vehicle hanging off, but it's not too bad. Honestly, his worst problem is this. His back does not like staying pegged in much. And sometimes it'll come undone on its own. And there's also these joints here on the uh, blade. So you could do a lot of things if you want. You could also fold them behind him if you prefer. It's the way of his articulation sometimes, but it's one way to handle it. It actually looks pretty good. Speaking of articulation, he has a swivel at the head. He has a swivel here at the arm on this little hinge, which can also allow his arm to go, his shoulder to go up. Also has a hinge here. And really tight ratchet swivel here. I have no idea why they use such tight joints there. And he has an elbow. He also has a hand swivel, which is pretty good, good considering the new Jetfire doesn't even have a swivel there. Nothing at the waist, which they probably could work the joint in there, but you can't have them bowing. You have a that little joint hinge there. Swivel. Hinges outward. Swivel there. Not as tight as the elbow one. All the hip joints just as tight. He has a really good knee considering how he transforms. You can almost 180 it. Looks really good. I got two different hinges in there. And you can get a bit with the ankle because it does extend a little. You could have it go back a bit, go forward a bit. You could get a little bit out of the ankle there. So overall pretty good. My only complaint with him, he doesn't really have any weapons. But considering it's Spider-Man, it's supposed to just be off his powers and stuff. I mean, I'm assuming the suit also has the same powers. I say it's fine. Honestly, the only thing I have to really do not like about him is just the kibble hanging off his arms. It just looks kind of weird. But it looks really good still. Really good little Spider-Man figure. Really like him. My problem with this set comes with this guy. First off, it really makes zero sense for Iron Man to have a mech of any kind. He, I mean, you might say it makes the most sense. It might say it makes the least amount of sense. It makes the least amount of sense to have a mech that transforms. A mech, sure, he might fight some kind of giant alien or giant golem thing or something along those lines, but it just doesn't make sense to have one that transforms. If he needs a jet, he could just use a regular jet. I really do not see the point in him having something like this. And he just doesn't pull off as well as Spider-Man. Like, if I were to move his arm out of the way, look at how skinny he is. It, it doesn't look threatening. I mean, you look at this Spider-Man, he's really big and bulky. Iron Man, who you expect him to be a bulky one, is a stick. Literally a stick. I am not pulling anything. He is literally this skinny. I mean, here, look at the look. Look how skinny that is. All the way down. If it was one spot, I could probably forgive it, but his entire lower part of his body is just a stick. And his joints don't. I mean, his head's a bit bare because it doesn't have a neck moving with it. You know, it's his actual head that's moving. And he does have the, you know, spark chamber, whatever it is, for his suit to kind of emulate his suit. And he also. And he also has, you know, this, but, which looks good because you could, you could actually pull, because of the position, you could actually pull off the Iron Man taking off pose, but it doesn't make sense for a suit, for a mecha kind of thing. This would be, this would be a hands that are good for an actual Iron Man. Oh, and you knocked off Spider-Man, you freaking. And the worst thing are these wings. These are, there is no reason for them to be this big and floppy, and there's really nothing you can do with them. They just take up so much space and knock over everything because they just flop around like crazy. Kind of thought about just taking them off and just having a nice little Iron Man figure, but it really wouldn't be that much better. And as you can see, yeah, that silver went to waste. You don't even see them on the feet. They're actually in the upper part of the feet where you'll never see them. So yeah, wasted paint, and he looks really plain. And he's got some good detail, but... Nothing really highlighting any of it. He's even got kind of an ab thing going, but it's kind of ruined by these prongs that are just sticking out of his chest. I mean, the rest of his articulation is okay. I mean, you know, got a joint there, pretty good ratchet in it. Can move outward. Elbow. And swivel in the, below the elbow. And swivel in the hand. He actually does have a waist joint. Now, his legs are a pain in the butt. They can only go out. They only have two positions, standing or outward. And going this way are fine, but going outward really sucks. They have a swivel, but it's impossible to use. I feel like I'm going to break the toy every time I try to grab it and 
Ah, there, and there is a swivel in here. I've gotten the turn before, but it's near impossible to use. The actual joint down in the leg here, the part that's not supposed to swivel as much, is swiveling more than the actual joint there. And as you can see, it's a really thin little piece of plastic connecting these two joints, so I'm always worried I'm going to break him every time I try to use the swivel. And again, he has a really good knee, but it doesn't work as well because you basically have to start taking apart his leg to use it right. Otherwise, you just have this, which is okay. And he also has the f minor feet movement. That's as far back as it goes, that's as far forward as it goes. Which you could use for some pose, but he can't, because of the wings, he can't balance. He can't, he can barely stand with both feet flat on the ground because of these wings. And his knees are pretty weak. So yeah, these wings are a problem. You can kind of shell them around him to help him a bit, but it won't, but then it looks really stupid. And you can see even then he still has trouble. It's just a really bad figure. I really do not like this guy. Oh, man. Well, here, let's get them standing up so you can see what they look like next to each other. And for comparison... Oh, I'm just got to hold you, aren't I? Okay. Here he is next to Thundercracker. Yeah, they're definitely Voyager scale. scale. Now, remember how I mentioned there's a narrow combined mode? Yeah, it's basically the plain mode, but with arms and legs hanging off. You'll see it in a second. Now, I didn't show the transformation because it's not much of a transformation. For Spider-Man, you're basically going to take him, and there's his robot mode. You fold his head away, you bend him down in the middle, and then you just fold down the cockpit and kind of like have this part ready for like the combined mode. Yeah, he's basically just bent over with his head gone. And, and I mean, at Iron Man is just in his jet form. That's it. And it's the exact same com combination as before, you just have Spider-Man basically in his robot mode hunched, hunched over. And it's even worse here because now there's stuff all over the place. Uh, then you're just gonna... As you can see, it's really big pain in the ass, especially with the backpack back here that wants to kind of come up. And makes it too heavy to where everything starts falling apart. There. And this is, the, for all that trouble, this is the robot mode you get. Oh. Granted, he has a lot of mass, but there's nothing he's doing with it. Plus, it's not even fully connected. It's just a jet laying on top of a robot. It doesn't look good at all. I mean, I think you're also supposed to do the X-Wing thing again. Which makes a bit more sense here, since I don't think this thing can fly, even with wings. But, literally, they're not adding anything. They haven't got any new powers. Oh, there is one other thing you're supposed to do. Take the feet and fold them back, and fold down these panels to make new f the new front of his feet. Which does help with the size a bit more, so that way he's not... He's got wider feet now to help with all this mass. But as you can see, this thing does not want to hold together. <laughs> this thing is falling apart. The backpack can even close now because he has all this mass holding him down. And it looks terrible. Oh. I'm done with it. Get out of here. You're expelled. Uh, at the end of the day, get Spider-Man. This is one of the best Spider-Man... Oh, let's get rid of those stupid legs. That's one cool thing, though. Do get some detail in there. Alright. At the end of the day, get the Spider-Man. If you can find him, the Spider-Man's definitely worth the money. The Iron Man... Piece of crap in all modes. You might say this one's what suffers for the combination, but it's more like they made this figure and then thought, why don't we try slamming them together? Because literally the only thing that combines at all is this one port here. Now there is a cool thing where um, you could unfold the arms while they're combined together, but as you saw, the connection point's so weak that they just fall apart. Especially since the connection points is on the one part of the Spider-Man figure that is really loose. So yeah, get the Spider-Man figure. Do not buy this piece of crap. This is one of the worst... Not one of the worst Marvel figures. One of the worst Transformers I've ever seen. That is not a joke. I have Armada Blur. I have Universe Galvatron. I have all these other figures that people have picked on. This is the absolute worst, because it doesn't even look good. At least Galvatron, when you get Universe Galvatron, when you get him on the shelf, he looks good. And Blur has a really... The, the Cybertron Blur has a really cool car mode and a really cool head sculpt. 
this thing does nothing. It doesn't look good as Iron Man, it doesn't look good as a plane, it doesn't look good for anything. Just get out of here. For $30, I would still, for, I wouldn't pay $30 for Spider-Man. I would pay, if you can find him for $20, get him. Do not pay anything for Iron Man. If he happens to come with Spider-Man and it was $20, alright. I would say try to resell him, but I wouldn't try to put him off on somebody else. Give him to your kid or something. That's what Iron Man's good for. I'm KC Transform. I like Spider-Man. I like Iron Man. But the Spider-Man figure is the only good one here. I need to get Ven the Venom car. Anyway, have a good weekend. I'll see you guys next time.